still have a card in my hand, really. It'll take more than magic to make this work. One of my favorite artists is Andy Warhol. Like, I like the hair. It all begins now. Tell me your hair. Uh-huh. Was that like a conscious choice? On Blind Date. <laughs> Greetings, date fans. I'm Roger Lodge, and welcome once again to Blind Date, where we totally make up with our daters we're thinking because, hey, someone's got to do it. And today we'll start with Georgia and Murray. Now, Georgia's from down under and says she's tired of guys thinking she's a saucy Aussie. Her date Murray is a magician who says women like his unique style. Of course they do. I'm from Melbourne, Australia. <gasps> My parents, as well as being lovely, are very conservative and straight-laced. I have been single for five years. I have a saying that they either smell right or they don't. I want to have a whole lot of new experiences. Working as a magician, and working in the big theaters in Las Vegas. I think people first impression me. They think I'm completely gay. 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 And I think after they get to know me, they understand that I'm, I'm more than straight. Nice to meet you, Murray. What's your name? Georgia. Georgia. How are you doing? Cool. I'm really good. How are you? I'm excellent. You want to play some, uh, some basketball? It's been a while, but I can give it a go. All right, so let's play this game. Uh, it's where I take the ball, I shoot it in the hoop. Now, if yeah. I get it in the hoop, um, I get to ask you a question. And now, if I get to miss it, you ask me the question. Okay. All right? I'll and then when I get it in, I'll ask you the question. OK. All right? Cool. Here we go. You could be asking me a lot of questions. Oh, well. Oh. Okay, now I get to ask you a question. Yes. What do you do for a living? What do I do for a living? I'm an entertainer. I'm a, a comedian and magician. Very cool. So that's what I do for a living. So. Magician. Yeah. I got a really cool idea. Now, you've only been here six weeks, right? Yes. So you have probably haven't seen too much of Hollywood or L.A. Well, I've right? tried, but... you tried? Please excite me. Okay, well, I have an idea. Um, what I'd like to do is I'd like to take you up to a place called Hollywood's Magic Castle. <gasps> oh, I want to go there. Have you known about it? Oh, I've heard... My friend told me I had to go there. Like, okay. he was trying to book, get me in there. Have you been to Vegas? I really do want to go to Vegas. It certainly wasn't on my list of things to do straight away. Yeah. I'm guessing you've worked there? Yeah. Yeah, that's where I live and work. Oh, okay. Yeah, and uh, I spend half the week here and then half the week in Vegas. Good to, good to see you again, Michael. Michael, this is Georgia. He's the, uh, pleasure. He's the uh, general manager of the Magic Castle here. Welcome One, to the Magic Castle. It's an absolute pleasure to be here. Have a good time. So Thank here's you. what we're going to do, see? Okay. It's our library. And see the owl? Yeah. What I want you to do is right at the owl, say, open sesame. Open sesame. Oh, no way. <laughs> Every evening, you'll see a lot of celebrities from Hollywood come in here and have drinks. Because uh, it's a private club, so the only way to get in this place is if you're a member. There's no other oh, way. Okay. Uh, the other way is if you're an invited guest. Like yourself. Thank you. Say? I feel special. Here's some various magicians that perform here once in a while. Hey. Who is that guy? I recognize him. Say? All right. You're going to select any card you want. Take out a card. You like that one? Yes. Okay. Okay, so you're going to flip the cards over as fast as you can onto my hand. When you see your card, say stop. I'm going to try to beat you to it. Real fast. Even faster. 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 Really fast. Uh, is the club not yours? No? No? Is that your card? Do you remember your card? It was eight of clubs. No, it wasn't. No? 
You sure it was? Okay, so you know what it is now. Okay, any of these? No. None of no, these. No. None. None. You got a card on your head. Do I have a card on my head? Really? Is, is that anybody any card that's familiar? No. This isn't your card? No. You sure? Because I thought it was a king of hearts. Queen of hearts. It is a king of hearts. No, queen of hearts. Well, that was really good. Thank you. But I, I see yeah. how amazed you are. I can tell by that. It's excellent. You rock. Did you just go straight into magic? I, I started, actually, uh, Ukrainian dancing, Russian dancing. Wow. Yeah, for 11 years. And... Uh, now that's something I wouldn't guess. So now, what do you do for fun, like, in Australia, like, in the evenings, if you want to go out on the weekends with your friends? What would you... Sure. I love to go out and dance, but I won't go out, like, like dancing. drunk, for sure. example. I love barbecue. I love cooking. <laughs> I find cooking relaxes me for two and a half hours, whether I like what I need to or not, because wow. it takes at least that long, long a time to cook something. I like art. One of my favorite artists is Andy Warhol. Like, I like the hair. Yeah. Of course, his hair is always cool, very cool. Yes, so, the hair. Yeah, so. And so. tell me your hair. Uh-huh. Was that like a conscious choice that you made to stand out? Did you shock it? Okay. <coughs> it was a conscious choice, yeah. The first time you meet someone that has yeah. hair like that, there's a natural assumption that's kind of made. I was like, <laughs> what's that's he funny. doing on the blind day uh, let's see. me? I'm confused, if you know what I mean. I totally, yeah. But That's thanks for coming good. to the Magic Castle, and uh, oh, look, thank and you. And you were like the number one assistant. If I'm ever in Australia, you you're please the first one I'm going to call. Do keep me in mind. Hey, I had a great time. Thank you very much. Hey, thank you so much. Have a great night, all right? It was lovely to meet you. All right, take care. Best uh, best of luck in your business. Thank you. You too. See ya. I think Murray's card trick said it all. Obviously, there'll be no magic on this one, but there will be some classic post-it comments next. Up next... I could give you a massage with the oils. You'll see why he's our project blind date. Think maybe I got a shot? That's next. Hey, thanks for coming back. And when last we left you, we were watching Georgia get through her day with a magician named Murray. And I think this was a blind date first date called on account of poofy white hair. My first impression of Murray was, I'm sure you're gay. I think that most people think that my hair is a little bit eccentric and over the top, but I'm used to it and that's all that counts. I think Murray thought I was too square for him, but when I want to flirt with a guy, I'll flirt with a guy. I think George was impressed with my magic skills from what she's told me and the different tricks that I did for her. So yeah, I think she was impressed. The great news about today is I didn't have to pay to see Murray's act. I think Georgia is a lot more picky than I'm looking for. I prefer my men manly. Sorry, Murray. Hey, Georgia, I'm sorry the day didn't work, but I'm back to the Magic Castle. Oh, that's impressive. Now, if Murray could just stop his dates from disappearing. All right, now let's move on to something we call Project Blind Date. 